we've done in previous videos. Those can be found in the description below the like button. But in previous videos, we talked about creating classes, methods, um, objects, how we would do all of this. And now we've previously mentioned two strings methods, and we're going to be going further in depth with it right here. So we want to add the following method to our point class public string to string. This is a method. It's going to return a string in the following format here. And then we're given an example. So if a point object stored in a value PT represents this point, so five and negative 17, we want to return the string just like this. So basically, whenever this is called, we want to return something that looks like this. And this is going to be our public class. So this is a class and this method is going to go inside of it. This is our own class. This is what we're making, right? So now let's make our method. It's going to be a public string to string like this. And all we are going to have in here is a return, right? Because we're returning a string. So we want to return all of this right here is just text, right? Except for the actual values, which are five and 17. These are going to be variable, meaning that they will change if they are ever updated inside of our public class. So we want to return this. Um, we want to append to it our x. You want to append to this uh, call it or call it a comma. And then we're going to want to append uh, actually comma y equals to and then append to this our actual y value. So that's how we would do a two string. Let's also append our closing brace right here and end this. Pretty much it. Um, let's submit and see if I spelled everything correctly, if I formatted everything right. We've passed seven out of seven tests. So that's the code that I would use for this uh, method for 8.14 self-check to string point.